morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody. So it is here my outlook after short uh, history. I want I want to say about uh, organizing structure uh, of my institute, some words about research departments and groups, uh, technologies available at, at the institute, a uh, few examples of semiconductor structures developed in our institute and devices and examples of uh, fabrication of quantum structures like wires, dots, and at the end uh, about, I want to say about our uh, photo, uh, superconductor photodetector. So uh, Institute of Electron Technology was uh, founded in 1966 from a few departments of Institute of Polish Academy of Science. And next, uh, it was moved to the industry. Uh, the beginning uh, work uh, of the Institute was connected with optoelectronics based on gallium arsenide and gallium phosphate and indium phosphate materials. They have some systems to grow layers like liquid epitaxy and uh, diffusion uh, furnace. So they, uh, elaborated or even discovered first light emitted diets. It was exactly in our institute. And next they um, elaborated laser diets uh, exactly for the um, uh, red lines at, and uh, meet uh, infrared uh, rage. And um, the technology was uh, improved and um, some quite uh, high quality, high power laser, laser diets were produced. Even uh, today, they are on the top. Uh, the second uh, kind of the devices were um, photodetectors. You have uh, also uh, quite good uh, progress in, in, in these devices. Uh, they were built not only on gallium arsenide, but also on uh, gallium phosphate and uh, three or four uh, compounds of such uh, materials. Uh, they were devoted to the telecommunications applications and um, detection of lights in uh, different uh, kind of uh, uh, industry or um, engineering systems. Uh, parallelly, it was developed a silicon device from the um, first uh, PN junction uh, diets, transistors, resistors, and next in a high uh, level of integrations, even a CMOS line was built and the um, semiconductor uh, Transistors were uh, produced at uh, fabric uh, at Teba uh, plants in Warsaw. In 19th, it was a big change in, in Polish electronics, uh, but our institute uh, arrived with the Institute of Physics, uh, Polish Academy of Science. We uh, formed a special laboratory on nanostructures on the uh, side of physics. It was a built uh, ebim lithography laboratory, on, but uh, processing was made in our institute. So the first uh, electron uh, lithography um, built in this uh, laboratory are presented here on this slide uh, on the bottom. On the left, the, the multi-level uh, example of multi-level uh, lithography, where we can see uh, the structure uh, each in uh, gallium, aluminum gallium aluminum gallium arsenide uh, on gallium arsenide, where uh, first uh, uh, wires were etched and uh, different metallization were formed uh, to attach uh, such wire. Even ohmic contacts were 
uh, form to the substrate. And such structures uh, allow it to check, to study quantum effects in such different materials. Here in the middle is an example of the structure. It is a ring-shaped device etched in uh, plump telluride, where uh, a Haranov bomb effect was studied. For uh, my institute was where more important uh, structure, uh, nanostructure made on directly on uh, materials like uh, gallium antimonide, where we fabricated uh, first a laser on, on these uh, materials with surface emission. It, it was uh, the second way to um, allow light to go uh, to, uh, from the uh, laser structure from the from the top surface. On the right side, there are the uh, nanowire in superconductor niobium, as well as niobium, uh, that's in niobium film. Uh, our institute uh, was, uh, was governed exactly now, is governed exactly now by uh, Lukasiewicz Research Network. It was from uh, of 2019 and next uh, in 2020, we were connected with Institute of Electronic Materials Technology, and now we have a new name, Institute of Microelectronics and Photonics. The scope of our institute is a design and development towards modern micro and optoelectronics solid state devices, including microwave, photonic disc discrete elements, detectors, sensors, integrated circuits, microsystems and microelectronic hybrid uh, system, power devices, diffraction elements, and others. We have uh, new methods for the characterization of materials, devices. We have uh, new technologies for production of uh, new materials like silicon carbide, graphene, uh, ceramic metal, composites, also, e, our institute is um, possibility to standardize and certificate uh, new devices. <laughs> so we have many uh, different groups which are working on new materials, new devices. We have many new technologies. So I want to say uh, something what they do, what researchers do in uh, the departments. We have uh, nine uh, research departments, so I should say something uh, about everyone. The, the first, photonic materials, next, functional, fun functional materials, graphene and composites, characterization of materials and devices, integrated circuits and uh, system design, LTCC technology, infrared photonics, silicon technology and sensors, and my department, gallium arsenide-based devices, sensors, thin film structures, and porous materials. So it is uh, quite many, but <laughs> photonic materials, um, it is a group where they uh, produce uh, different glasses, like fluoride glasses, heavy metal oxide, tellur telluride glasses, photonic or optical fibers for generation of nonlinear effects, as well as lasers and fiber amplifiers. They also construct special nanostructure optical fibers with a special uh, parameters like chromatic dispersion, um, photosensitivity, special uh, with uh, special mode characteristics. Uh, they also produce nanostructured nano microlenses, uh, for example, gradient type or action type or vortex type. Some special um, is actually like action type uh, is uh, 
used to generate circular beam for application in materials and tissue processing, like uh, laser surgery. Uh, and, and others for uh, optical triping applications like optical tweezers or um, optical te telecommunications uh, also and computers. Uh, there are some interesting discovered uh, structures and uh, special application of such lasers. Uh, so next uh, group is uh, fun functional materials. They uh, produce some special ceramic skeletons, interpenetrating network composites, thermoelectric materials, ferrit ferritic steels, which is used for construction of uh, fusion reactions, reactors, uh, luminescent powers, the powders, uh, cemented carbides, and biofilters. Uh, the next group of graphene and uh, composite, uh, they produce graphene oxide with different form as a powder or water solution, <clears throat> also as a graphene paper. They also produce uh, electrospan polymer and composite non-woven fabric. In uh, that group is a mm, new system for uh, production of uh, structures uh, from silicon carbide and gallium nitride. It is some a new big uh, uh, system, and we hope. It helped us to develop new structure for new devices. Uh, it is one big group for characterization of materials and devices. They have many uh, instruments like uh, for copy, scanning electron microscopy, X-ray diffraction, fluorescence, uh, computer topography, Misbauer effect spectroscopy, Raman spectroscopy, ellipsometry, and so on. Uh, so it is uh, very well equipped, and they can uh, make uh, very deep studies of materials. Next group, integrated circuit and system design. It is a special group which can uh, design and prepare a full documentation for fabrication of ASIC circuits, as well as application-specific standard products. They are experts in digital, analog, and mixed um, mode integrated circuits. Uh, they have a collaboration with many European, American, and Fast East manufacturer, manufacturing facilities. They are very uh, good experts and can <clears throat> prepare all project for design a new device on a request. Uh, so next uh, group uh, LTC with LTCC technology is located in Krakow. Uh, they have such uh, quite new technology, which is very required uh, for integration of electronic components and assembly together they are um, it is possible to construct a new sensors uh, used for um, some application in medicines uh, for protection in of in, in uh, for environmental protections uh, as well photovoltaics and uh, electricity storage uh, it, on the right side, we can see some example of such uh, structure, which can be uh, flexible. Next group, it is infrared photonics. Uh, as I mentioned before, it is a continued uh, works on optoelectronic devices. Exactly, exactly now, they can produce quantum cascade lasers for different uh, range of, of the light, mid infrared, far infrared, even to terahertz frequency. They 
produce uh, not only laser, but also high sensitive, uh, sensitive detectors. They can characterize uh, such structures uh, by a few techniques like uh, transmission and absorption, absorption in uh, infrared uh, spectra, as well by photoluminescence or thermal reflectance. The next group, silicon and uh, silicon technology and sensor systems, uh, they are located in Piasecno and they have a full silicon. Uh, uh, technology line for production of new uh, devices based on silicon uh, with uh, the class is CMOS. So it is uh, quite uh, good and it was rebuilt in the previous year. year the lab was um, is exactly now better. Uh, as an example, uh, in this um, department was uh, elaborated, was developed a special silicon sensor for detection of nucleides. Uh, a new nucleides like Copernicus uh, was uh, measured exactly thanks to, 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 to these detectors. Another example is a silicon quadrant detector based uh, laser tracking system. It is uh, exactly sold to the Mask. It is a Polish uh, company which produces a weapon. And my my department is gallium uh, nitrate based uh, devices, sensors, thin film structures, and porous materials. We are able to construct and um, produce some new devices uh, based on gallium nitrate, as well as we have a possibility to produce different thin film structures, as well as modify the surface for sensor applications. Uh, one group uh, produce new porous materials in the form of films, uh, which is <coughs> a new way to, to construct a very sensitive uh, detectors for gases, uh, liquids, um, pollutions. Um, also, it is possible in our, uh, my department is possible to produce uh, three dimension structures for diffraction optics, photolithography masks, masks, as well as uh, another uh, protective coatings. Uh, such structures can be produced thanks to good quality of a system, a technological system, like MPE systems from RIBER, there are two. Uh, one for the production of laser structures, quantum cascade lasers and big cells. And the second one is for production of structure, uh, structures of uh, detect, advanced detectors. In May, uh, group, we have uh, some special magneton spat spattering system. It was made uh, in Sari uh, Nanosystems. Is Sari Nanosystems company? It is equipped with four magnetrons, and uh, substrate can be up to six inches. The temperature during processing can be increased up to 1000 centigrade. It is possible to cost patterns from two or three as, uh, sources for uh, targets. Uh, and is, it is equipped with uh, ellipsometry, also uh, plasma control. The next uh, new system is uh, uh, atomic layer deposition from Benek. It is a equipped with four hot and four liquid sources. Uh, it can be passive to deposit on six inch substrate with substrate temperature up to 500 centigrade. It is passive to work at temperature at thermal and plasma mode. Uh, equipped gases uh, 
we have a four, uh, five uh, gas lines, also ozone. It is important to deposit different kinds of structures, oxides, uh, even uh, nitrites. So we have um, possibility to form different structures made with metals, pure metals, or uh, metal compounds uh, can be uh, solid solutions uh, that can be uh, nitrates, nitrate, nitrates of metals, silicide or carbides. Thanks to uh, atomic layer deposition system, we can produce different kind of uh, dielectric films like silicon oxide, silicon nitrate, as well as many of uh, high K uh, dielectrics. Also, it is possible to deposit uh, zinc oxide based layers and other like uh, titanium oxide, uh, which can be also be a semiconductor. A standard uh, dielectric film can be, of course, deposited by plasma enhanced CVD or um, another. Uh, metallic or semiconductor can be uh, made uh, in our uh, sputtering system. Here on the bottom is an example <coughs> of a black uh, layer which can absorb absorb almost 100 100% uh, of the light. So we have a uh, quite a good equipped uh, line for production of new devices. Uh, also, we are equipped not only for photolithography, laser photography, but also IBM lithography. We have uh, two systems. <coughs> also, we have nano imprint lithography. We have uh, high vacuum uh, magneton uh, systems uh, above, uh, uh, gamma system we have from the VST uh, from Israel, uh, one system which combine a uh, magnetron module with four, ha four uh, targets and uh, E-beam source. We have also uh, neck peletron tandem it is accelerator for ion implantation and RBS studies. Here is a e-beam uh, e uh, lithography uh, from right. It's Voyager, and on on the right is previously mentioned magneton sputtering. We have also a furnace uh, for RTP processing. We have a two with different uh, modes and classical furnace too. So we can offer a different kind of processing, um, deposition on uh, different um, substrate, different, ma different materials. Uh, we can characterize such materials or devices by many techniques like uh, electrical measurements, uh, optical, as well as scanning electron microscopy and X-ray diffraction and ellip spectroscopic ellipsometry also too. So now let's go to examples of the structure made uh, on, in our institute. On the left side, we can see a quantum well heterostructure of quantum cascade laser. It is composed with a multiply of uh, very thin uh, film uh, gallium arsenide, aluminum arsenide, uh, which allow to um, good work of the laser. Uh, it is on the uh, side of infrared photonics group. Here in the middle is an example of multi layers made with uh, 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 zircon boride and uh, nitrite boride. There are very thin films uh, multiplied uh, 13 times, uh, 13 times. Uh, they are deposited on the substrate and on the top is a gold. 
it just we check the uh, barrier uh, possibility if how long can uh, such structure withstand the high temperature. Uh, typically, uh, metallization on silicon can withstand up to 200 centigrade. Uh, gallium nitride, uh, uh, sorry, uh, gallium uh, arsenide can withstand, with metallization, can withstand up to 300 centigrade, if, uh, 300. Uh, better material, of course, is uh, gallium nitride, and the best seems to be silicon carbide, except and, and others which can be discovered in future. Uh, so we tested such uh, such a structure at 400 centigrade for 30 minutes, and the structure is almost stable. Uh, the uh, top part is a bit changed, but full uh, structure is uh, stable. That means gold is not going down, not going to the uh, semiconductor uh, substrate. If we applied such a structure uh, on the high power, high power uh, um, lasers or light emitting diet on uh, gallium nitride, it is it, it, such structure ensure a very long and stable work. So on the bottom, uh, we uh, we can see here an example of our high electron mobility transistor. <coughs> made on aluminum gallium nitride gallium nitride it is the on the left side is a structure of multi-layers of of the gallium uh, uh, gallium nitride here is a one cell of the transistor when uh, on the edge are contacts to the source and in the middle is uh, Gate. It here is exactly uh, ruthenium silicon oxide as a gate. Uh, here you can see the planar uh, structure where the current is going from source to drain through the space of get of the gate. Uh, exactly in our uh, in the transistors, we get a uh, current density about 250 uh, amperes per one millimeter of uh, width of the gate. So it is quite good results. On the right side here, can we see uh, the research on omic contacts to gallium, uh, to, to such as a hemp structure, uh, typically, contact metallization is made from the titanium aluminum. Next uh, uh, is uh, deposited titanium nitride as a diffusion barrier. And on the top is a metal for um, connection of wires. Here exactly is a copper, but it typically is used gold. Uh, here are the studies of such metallization. Uh, after annealing, the required uh, temperature is 250 centigrade, and the minimum temperature is one minute or two, up to two minutes. And we uh, observe that during the temperature, at the interface between metal and uh, gallium nitride, is formed a very thin uh, aluminium nitride film. So we observe such such correlations. Uh, contact resistivity uh, of such metallization is quite quite good. It is in the range of 10 to minus 5 uh, ampere ohm, uh, ohm uh, square centimeter. It's, uh, such value. So it is good. On the uh, right side, we can see a cross section of the MOSFET uh, transistor on silicon carbide. Uh, here we can see on the top is a metal for gates, and in the middle is a metal for the source. And below it is a region of the 
of the base and we can see a very narrow uh, space of the channel. It is uh, about 0 0.7 micrometers uh, of the channel in our uh, technology. So let me go on the top right side. Here are examples of nanostructures format in uh, indium gallium zinc oxide film. Uh, there are uh, formed uh, drops or commas uh, with a size about uh, up to 500 nanometers. This is exactly the example of the test of uh, nano imprint lithography. Here in the on the left, here we can see example of test how to make uh, bridges uh, in a very narrow scale. We have here we have a metal bridges uh, five micrometer long. Uh, made with uh, nickel gold. Uh, this can be applied in a special um, structures which requ requires a metallization without a, a dielectric uh, beneath, below the metal. So another examples of uh, uh, our test of our uh, lithography systems. The, on the left side, there are the old uh, quantum wire and quantum dots made in 1995. And here we tested our new, our new uh, e-beam lithography. Here can we see the wires, exactly not wires, there are the rows in the uh, resistor in the EBIM resistor, uh, the width of the line is 10 nanometers. Uh, there are exactly rows, there are five rows. Rows uh, on the uh, bottom, on the top uh, bottom, uh, we can see uh, many of such stripe of such rows on the uh, wider space. Uh, we can see that rows have uh, uh, with about uh, 12 nanometers. And another example, there are the stripes of made with uh, chromium. The chromium stripe are divided by the row with here on the left side, it is the row uh, 12 nanometers. On the right side, the row is 20 nanometers. And on the right side, we, can, uh, we have example of chromium stripe with the width 56 nanometers and the distance between them is 150 nanometers. On the bottom side is uh, another example of a bridge in a shape of H. It is a 14 long uh, 40 micrometers long bridge made with the same nickel, uh, nickel gold. Another example of quantum dots, which were produced uh, by a special uh, deposition, uh, plasma enhanced CVD uh, de deposition of, of silicon nitride and very thin silicon. After annealing uh, such uh, lines of um, silicon are crystallized and form a dots. The dimension of the dots is about four by six nanometers. Another more, another example uh, was uh, made uh, on aluminium uh, uh, aluminium arsenide when the very thin indium uh, indium arsenide quantum dots were formed. Uh, by using uh, stransky krastanov growth mode. At the end, I would show something about our uh, superconductor photodetector. This detector was um, formed using uh, superconductor niobium nitrate film. Such film were deposited at the beginning in different 
substrate at high temperature, by spatic at high temperature, 800 centigrade. And we observed that the best film, best quality of structure was uh, attained if the substrate was uh, sapphire. The grow is quite uh, epitaxial. On the, the top, on the top picture, we, we can see the, the signal uh, from uh, XR diffraction. Here, this is the uh, peak from the 111 reflection. It is quite good um, shape. And on the map below, we can see reciprocal uh, space map of the anti-symmetrical uh, reflection 311. It is a proof that the grow is epitaxial on the sapphire. We have also uh, transmission electron microscopy uh, confirmation that the grow is uh, very, very good. Such uh, film uh, were tested uh, special uh, lines uh, wire were formed by electronolithography. Um, the lines were from 0 to, to 1.3 uh, micrometers, and we observed that uh, critical uh, temperature of our film is about 14.5 kelvins, and we get the critical current density. Eight to eight mega amperes per square centimeters. We also uh, fabricated uh, niobium titanium nitride in, in, in the same, in the similar way, and measured such uh, um, uh, superconducting superconducting uh, parameters, and we observed that critical current is, uh, is close, it is 14 kelvins, and the um, critical current density can be even higher. The best results was uh, 12 mega amperes per uh, square centimeter. Such films uh, were used to produce the uh, nanowires. Uh, here, by lithography, for by lithography, electron lithography. Here is an example of the sensor with a dimension, with the dimension 10 by 10, 10 by 10 micrometers, on a, of course on, on the cypherps, and the width of the stripe uh, is 250 nanometers. A such stripe is here in the middle. Uh, metallization to the wire is made with gold with a very thin adhesive uh, titanium layer and uh, such a sensor was um, assembled on the bigger sample wire were, were connected to the uh, external external electrical connections and uh, special um, fiber was attached to the sample, and we tested such uh, meander, such uh, sensor in a cryogenic system at temperature for kelvins. On the right side, we can see the results of measurements of counts, uh, counts that means uh, if a photon attain a sensor that um, current is uh, broken so we have a pulse have a pulse da? yeah so uh, we attain it uh, we attain it a linear dependence of counts versus a photonic pulse and from this behavior we concluded that we have a, a single uh, photon detection regime such results were published in a few papers before. It was more than 10 years. Uh, we started more than 10 years before, 
and uh, almost finished uh, five years uh, previously. So we don't continue continue exactly uh, this uh, work. So uh, as a summary, I want to say that we have a wide infrastructure to develop uh, new semiconductor devices, uh, as well as not only semiconductor. We have uh, nine groups in our institutes. Uh, we can fabricate uh, quantum structures in semicron scale thanks to the EBM lithography with uh, line resolution of 10 nanometers. Um, new quantum wires and quantum dots can be developed in a wide range of materials used in semiconductor technology, as I try to show. Thank you.